Hey guys, welcome back to another video here. We're going to be doing a quick Adobe XD Flutter support video. Uh, just because I saw this in the news two days ago, I was studying uh, very hard, obviously. And I was really interested in what well, what is this? Because I had a look at this in the past. I do a bit of Flutter, Flutter coding in the past as well. Uh, and I'm going to expand on that in the summer when I get a chance from the break I get from university. Uh... What it essentially is the idea here is I'm going to use a prototyping tool called WXD. It's a really good, really powerful tool. And we're going to be able to design something and export that straight away into dark code that can be used by Flutter. It's the whole point here is to streamline the app design process and make it work. You know, in a couple of minutes is what you're going to see. In 10 minutes, I'm going to go from designing something to having it working in an application on a phone. Obviously, the content itself will be static and it won't be able to be clicked on yet because that's going to be that would have to be covered in a different video but this one's just showing the fact that i can prototype and design and get it straight away into flutter code and everything like that so the first thing we're going to do here is if you want to read more about this you can check it in the description below and while you're down there drop a subscription and also give a like to this video if you like what you're going to be watching first thing we're going to need essentially is adobe xd so we'll be heading over to that website and you can press start for free and download and install the application yourself it's a really good powerful tool i use it a lot at university to do some prototyping work and a bunch of other things um so yeah i highly recommend adobe xd and it's a good thing to use for free because i haven't paid for it yet um next thing we're going to need to do is get the adobe xd pub dev uh package so pre-requirement i guess for this tutorial is you already have created a flutter project just a plain blank one is all you need as you see here i've got the flutter demo home page where you just press the button over and over and it increments the counter first thing i'm going to do is Control c and Control v this line after the sdk for flutter make sure it's on a new line over here and you can see that just like that then it tells you to run this command in the command line flutter pub get I don't need to do that. I can just press the button. That will do it for me. And you can see there it's just doing it for me. It's running Flutter Flub Get in Adobe and it's done. So all I have here is a simple program. Nothing has been changed yet. And it's just launching the basic demo homepage. So the next thing we're going to have to do is essentially head into Adobe XD. When you first open the application, you'll be greeted with this kind of page. You can set the size of the device. So we're going to go for the iPhone X XS. I've already created a project, um, but this is what you'll be greeted with. And you can see here what you're going to be able to do is essentially design things and stuff like that. Then what I'm going to do is just open up my previous pro project here. Um, so it says plugins are disabled. So let me just open up adobe xd again troubleshooting on the fly i guess uh and you can see there i've just opened it up and it should be working now perfectly fine cool so i've got a few plugins here and that is xd to flutter plugin is the one that we're going to need so to get that you're going to press this little red lego brick down here and it's going to launch a page like this. You press the little plus button here and you'll get a browser window essentially where you can look at different plugins. You can see all the categories that they have. They've got a bunch of different stuff, whatever you need for your design. Uh, but we're going to search for Flutter and you can see there's a bunch of different things that do different things. But <laughs> the one we're going to need here is the XD to Flutter plugin. Just install that just like I have and you'll get it popping up when you press this Lego brick looking thing down here. Um, and when you click on it, you get the option for a UI panel or to export all widgets. What we're going to do is simply just press the UI panel for now. So you can see here, I was messing around with it in the past already. So we're already referencing the project I've created, which is called Flutter Adobe. So what you would have to need to do is just browse to where your Flutter project is located. So mine's on the Barracuda drive, the default is called coding and then Flutter Adobe. And then all I'm going to do here essentially is just press select folder and it's done next thing you need to do is leave this uh, code path to the library leave the assets slash images here and then just go wild design what you want to do obviously i'm not a designer i'm more of a coder so i'll leave you guys to watch a different tutorial on a different channel 
um, on how to essentially design an Adobe XD. But I've just mopped this up really quickly. It's a simple thing. It's a guy's user editing profile page. I've got a couple hobbies, some friends as well. So the first question is, how do you get these images across into Flutter? So what we're going to do here is once this panel is open and you got this plugin thing on the left and you can see you export all images and all that, what we're going to do is click on this image here and it will change and highlight this guy's face, for example. I put the image for um, name as one. And I need, just need to do this for every single image that there is in this application. Uh, just so the code knows what it's calling essentially when it says use this image address. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then we also have this plus button, which we've called plus already in the past. Once that's done, I'm just going to press export all images before exporting, blah, blah, blah. You must select the Flutter project. I mean, it's already done. Um, so I think it needs me to do it again. So Flutter Adobe, select the folder. And there you go. It's exported six named images. Now, if I head to IntelliJ, first thing we're going to do is if you see your assets and images here, all these images have already been added in along with some previous ones I was testing with. Once that's done, we now need to bring the page itself over. Like if you look at this, it's still doing the old thing. So we've not really linked anything up together. Uh, what I'm going to do here is you click on the profile page itself and you can see on the left here, it's select this and it says exclude, include and export all widgets. So I've just selected that for this instance because there's only one widget and I just press export widget. You see, you got two warnings here. Could not find assets entry in PubSpec YAML for the assets. Could not find font entry in the PubSpec YAML. Okay, so how do we fix those two things? So if we look at the application here, it's still on the old version. Nothing's really changed. What we're going to do is open up the PubSpec.yaml. Scroll down here to the assets area. On the next line, just type in assets just like it is above. Do the dash there and then just write in assets slash images and that is that reload that and nothing should change but once we look in the library folder we're going to notice that we now have two different um files we have the main dot dot and then the test edit profile which is what we had from adobe xd if you open up the main dot dot you can see it's just a standard application and the test edit profile is this new design that's not actually visible here yet now, this is basically going to replicate that design that we saw in Adobe XD into the application and make it show on this device on the right. So how do we do that? That's the first question, right? Well, we're using the home page currently as my home page. So I'm just going to comment that out just in case I need it later. Uh, what I'm going to do is replace this with test edit profile. Give it a little brackets there. And there you go. Just like that, in the space of, what is that, 8 minutes and 18 seconds, we've got this program that started from scratch, had nothing on it, designed something in Adobe XD, or, you know, a previous concept that you might have designed in the past as well, can now be exported straight into Flutter. Obviously, it doesn't do anything, and you can see it here running on the phone perfectly fine. Now, first thing you're going to notice is this massive gap on the right. Well, why is that? Because this phone's running on a different resolution from Adobe XD's design platform. Um, that I selected because obviously I was designing for the iPhone X in mind So we need to edit this code Essentially as a programmer to be responsive to different screen sizes and adjust the elements so that it looks the same on no matter what device This application has been opened on uh, What else do we need to do? We need to make this edit profile button clickable and a bunch of different things like this plus button and the hobbies Could be potentially clickable depending on what the application needs to do I won't be covering that in this video today because all I wanted to show off was this quickly Adobe XD support for Dart and Flutter. And I'm honestly going to say it's an amazing tool if you just notice that, you know, you can get someone to work on the design side and prototype something and give it straight to the designer, to a programmer who can just import it into Dart and it's already running natively on Android. You know, these are the kind of innovations, I guess, that's pushing the mobile app development um, industry. And it's really exciting to be a part of them now. So I highly recommend anyone who hasn't already learned Flutter or anything like that to get into it. Now, it's not that difficult if you've learned from other languages. Uh, it shares a lot with HTML, I guess. And there's some bits of, um, you know, 
Java concepts and everything like that that I personally, anyways, related to this, and that's how I learned to code in this really. Um, and that's all there is for today's video. It's just a really, really quick one of me exporting straight out of Adobe XD into uh, Flutter. If you have any questions or anything like that, I do read them, so just pop them in the comments and I'll be sure to check them out. I have my exams going on, so that's why this content's a bit rushed. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If there is anything else you need, just don't be afraid to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help, um, as I have with a few people who have already reached out asking for university advice and stuff like that. So thanks, guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great time.